All right. Um, what I want to show is I built this little gyro wheel, and um, I'm going to try to drive it through its own axis of rotation, this bigger gear. And see that bigger gear is driven by the motor here. But this tiny gear up here turns the wheel. And that's, that's a 10 to 1 ratio. It takes uh, 10 revolutions of this little gear to go around that big gear one time. So it's going to apply a torque on trying to rotate this. Ninety percent of the torque is going to go in to try to rotate this. Only ten percent is going to go in to spin the wheel. So if I hook that up, and apply power to it, of course it's just going to rotate. It's just going to rotate because all the all the torque is going into just rotating the entire unit. But the idea is to see if when this wheel starts turning, if it can actually stabilize that against its own supply of energy. And then I'll just hold on just a second. You can see only a very small amount actually goes into rotating that wheel, and there's a a lot of tension trying to turn that. But even at a, a very small RPM, I'll show you. It's probably 250 RPM. You can already see it stabilizing. Even at only 250 RPM or so. Well, I'll increase that, and it can even hold it against increasing pressure. And you'll see as it, as it increases in RPM, it becomes stronger and stronger. I get a little reading on the RPM here. It says uh, 3,300. But you can see that even against 10 times more pressure to rotate that, and only 10% of it going into the wheel, that it can stabilize against itself 10 times that pressure. Obviously, could be much higher. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show. Yeah, that takes a lot of torque to turn that. A lot of pressure. Thanks for watching.